family, it's the Mobile Home Diva. And in today's video, we are going to be touring this Deer Valley home. This is the Cairo, you guys. It's a three bedroom, two bath home. Look at the long porch. Look at there. Just look at this home. I would do the uh, the brick under, uh, what do you call it? It'll be on the screen in that same stone. This is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's a Deer Valley home. It's called the Cairo. Now, this is a three-bedroom, two-bath, you guys. But this home also comes in a four-bedroom, which is called the Cairo, too. So, if I come across that one, I'll tour that one as well. But this is the three-bedroom, two-bath home. And it is called Cairo. K-A-I-R-O-S. Look at this porch. Beautiful. Beautiful. So that's half of it. And that's the other half. Like you could put 10 rockers out here just all the way across. I would take turns rocking on this porch. Absolutely beautiful. Do you see all of the porch that you got here? Absolutely. I don't think the camera's doing it any justice, you guys. Like, you have got so much porch. I'm going to go back off the porch and let you see it again. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is the Cairo, okay? This is the Cairo. Now, this one may be in an angle, at an angle that I can walk around and let you see the exterior. So let's see if we can go around and see what the rest of the house on the, well, maybe. Let's see, this is all the house you get here, you guys. Look at this, beautiful. You know, a lot of times these houses are at, at an angle where you can't really see. Yeah. I wanted you to see, I'm going to walk between these houses. How about that? So in addition to the long front porch, you also have all the space out here as a back porch. But it's so hard to see. So let's go on around and let's get started with inside the house. And we'll come out on the porch from inside, okay? Again, this is a Cairo. It is a Deer Valley home. I can't wait for you to see it. Y'all know I get excited. And I am super, super duper excited about this home. So let's go inside and I'll let you take a look, see. All right, so we're walking up. Already you got these three large windows here. So you know it's bringing in a lot of natural light. You've got three windows on this side. Really lovely. Love the front door. Hi family, just a quick disclaimer. I do not work for the manufacturer or dealer of this home. I record these videos because I love touring these homes and I share my personal opinion of the homes that I view. If you have any questions about finding this home, pricing or specifications, all the information I have will be in the description box below. Now let's get back to the video. And this is your view. Ooh, the air is on in here. This is your view as you walk into the door. Walk in the door. Really nice. So I'm going to go around and turn around and let you see where we came in. So that's the front door. You've got space in front of these two windows to create a little foyer type entryway. If you choose, you really don't need it. Honestly, you don't need it. I probably would though. I would have probably a console table here, uh, maybe two lamps or something like that. Really lovely. So this is your living room. Love the darker wood in here. 
You've got lots of space for your furniture. Now this leather furniture is big, okay? So this gives you an idea of just how much space you have in this area. Really lovely. You got a fireplace here and you got space. A lot of times when you have this feature wall, you don't have space for a large TV, but you could for sure put a 75 inch. I don't know if the camera's doing it any justice, but you could for sure put 65 or 75 inches up there with no problem. You got your, I don't know if that's electric. I, I'm pretty sure it's electric fireplace and not gas. Um, and all of this is your living room. All of this is your living room. Really nice. So off the living room, you have a peep through into the kitchen, which is really nice. You've got space here to put some tall bar stools. Um, and you can see out at your family while you're doing the dishes, which is really, really lovely. So let's go in. We'll go back to the front door. Right next to the front door, you got your dining room. That's those three large windows over there, you guys. Looking into the dining room and kitchen. Boy, it's a lot. It'll be a lot of light in your kitchen and dining room in the daytime. Really lovely. You got a chandelier over your dining room table. Beams in the ceiling. You've got a large table in here already, but room to grow. Like, what if this table had a leaf? It wouldn't be a problem because you have so much space in this dining room area, right? Really nice. I think, though, that is a good size table because it gives you space to walk around and not feel so crowded in this area. So this is your dining room. Really lovely. And then over here is your kitchen. Love the white cabinets. Love that it's a shelf. A drawer for every counter. Love that it's soft clothes. Y'all saw it. Let me do it again. <laughs> yes, soft clothes. Not only that, you have white cabinets on the exterior of the kitchen, but you have this beautiful light gray cabinet in the island. The, these countertops, I don't know if that's quartz or what, but that's a nice countertop, you guys. That is not your average countertop. That is quartz, probably quartz or marble. Really nice. You've got all of this cabinet and, sh and uh, drawer space in your island. Really lovely. Really lovely. And then more cabinets and drawers over here. Now, this island has cabinet space all the way around. So you have four cabinets here. That doesn't open. It just looks like cabinets. And then you've got four cabinets and, and four drawers to include pot drawers in this island. What a great use of space and storage. Really lovely. And it's soft clothes. I'm going to do it one more time. <laughs> Yes, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, you got, as I stated before, you're, when you're doing the dishes, you can look out at your family or watch TV with them. Really nice. Love the trim around the counters. And then it's used as backsplash over here behind the stove. Really lovely. Lovey, lovey, lovey. You've got a microwave over the stove in this model very pretty very pretty now your refrigerator is over here and you've got even more storage space around the refrigerator that is a nice nice touch on this side you have a pantry and what a nice pantry what a nice size pantry you have absolutely enough space to put shelves on either side as well 
to maximize all the space. You've got all of this room in the bottom for storage. Really nice pantry. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So that is your pantry. Now, I know you saw the doorway between the pantry area and the refrigerator. Well, this is the back of the house. And this is that back porch we saw from the outside. Look at the size of this porch, you guys. Like this isn't the average little addition where they have just a little small space. Like this is a real porch. Like if you didn't want to put uh, an additional deck off of it, you, didn't ha you don't have to because you got more than enough space. You can put a table out here and some chairs. You can put just some chase chairs, just whatever you like. And I love, love, love that you've got this door here that has space for storage. Look at that. Go ahead and put in the comment section what you would store out here. What would you store in this area? Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I love it. Look at that. Now, you absolutely could extend the deck. This could be a huge, huge deck, you guys. You absolutely could do that. But if you didn't want to or maybe you didn't have the means in the beginning, you absolutely don't have to because this is more than enough space out on this back porch. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Let's go see some more house because I could... Listen, we are, I'm 11 and a half minutes in, you guys, and we haven't made it past the kitchen, okay? Now, off the kitchen this way, we go down this hall. Your AC unit is going to be there. You've got this little nook here to do whatever you like. This is the laundry room area, so you could put a deep freezer here. You could also put some hooks and a bench here and use it as a mud room area. But this is this little hallway goes to the side door. So you got a side door here. Your washer and dryer will go here. And you got cabinet space up top along with space for uh, to hang items and also shelving. So this is not a separate room. This is a wide hallway. You see that? That is the kitchen that way. And you got a wide hallway that leads to the side door and your washer and dryer. All right, so we got a lot of ways that we could go, but we're gonna go back toward the kitchen and I'm gonna show you something about this home. So through the kitchen and back through the dining room, off of the dining room, you've got like this family room, den type area, this would be for sure my husband's man cave. He would probably put a door up right here. No girls allowed. He would thoroughly enjoy this area, okay? But this could be a lot of things, you guys. It could be a craft room. It could be the kids' playroom. It could be a, um, a family room, a den, just whatever you like. Really lovely. Got a lot of windows in here, three windows. So you got a lot of light coming into this room. Really nice. Now I brought you back around because I wanted you to see both ways to come in. That is the dining room there that leads to the front door. But you can also come out this side and we are right back over here by the laundry room in this hallway, okay? So you've got two doors that lead into that room. Really nice. Now, at the side door, if you turn to the left, you've got your two additional bedrooms over here and, uh, and your guest bath. So let's take a look. To the right, you have guest bedroom number one. Really lovely. Nice size bedroom. This is, this is the size of a lot of people's master. This is a nice bedroom. Really lovely. You've got a standard closet in here. All right, so that's your closet. Your window's right there, but it's bringing in so much light, you guys. And then you got a window right there. 
really nice. So that's bedroom number one. You've got your guest bath here. Really nice. You've got drawers and cabinet space in this bathroom. Really lovely. This bathroom has a lighter floor than the, the rest of the house, which I don't mind at all. So can you see it? So this is a light floor. And then this is a floor in the common area. So this is a much darker floor. But you've got a lighter floor in the guest bathroom. And then this is guest bedroom number two, or your additional bedroom number two. Really nice. Both rooms appear to be the same size. This room only has one window and a standard closet. Really nice. Really lovely. So you got, again, this is a three bedroom, two bath. So these are your two additional bedrooms here in this little nook okay all right back down the hall through the kitchen and we will go and take a look at what's over here now from the front door i'll show you what's over here from the front door, you've got a powder room, which is a nice surprise. So you got your, your sink over here and your toilet over here. So your guests don't have to use your regular bathrooms. You've got this powder room here, and then you've got this coat closet right here. What a lovely surprise. And in this area, this is a little nook, so Maybe you have a bench over here for, for guests to sit uh, in front of this window, take off their shoes, hang up their coats, use the restroom. Really, really lovely surprise. Really nice. Love this powder room. Really nice. Oh, it's got a light. So sorry. I didn't know. <laughs> really nice so that's your powder room now now I can show you the master okay over here off the living room and kitchen is your master really nice size master bedroom really lovely Really nice. All right, so this is the master, and through here is the master bath. You have the light flooring in the master bath. You got this beautiful long sink here with the makeup table in the middle. Love the fact that I, whenever they put the three mirrors here uh, across the entire counter space, it really makes me happy because I have seen where the mirror in the middle is missing. And if, if somebody is doing their makeup in the middle, they're going to need a mirror while hubby and, and one of the kids are at either sink, right? So you've got a long space makeup table in the middle. Over here, you've got a linen closet. Really nice to have in the bathroom. You've got this large shower. All of these homes have had these large showers. I love it. These aren't standard size showers, you guys. This is an upgrade, okay? It's a really nice upgrade. Absolutely worth it to have this size shower. Like, I'm sitting on the bench and you got all of that shower over there. You also have the glass where you can see out into the bathroom and the bedroom. Really nice. Your rain shower, shower head is up there. Love the tile. Love it. I got real comfortable sitting there. <laughs> I got super comfortable, you guys. Really nice. So that is your shower. And then next to your shower is your soaker tub. 
Love the shape of this tub. Love the thickness of it. Love it. That window over the tub actually opens. And I love the fact that they have the blinds already installed over it. So that's less of a worry. You can close that blind at night. Really lovely. Really nice area. You've got your toilet room over here. So it comes with a closed door for privacy. And all of this space is master closet. How nice is that? All of that is master closet, you guys. Sorry I can't walk in. This is all the siding and, and uh, doors and stuff for your house for when they set it up. All of this stuff will be put together. But this is your master closet. You've got all of these shelves, all of these shelves, and then space for your longer items back there. Really, really lovely. Really lovely. Again, this is the Cairo. Okay. This is the Cairo. It is a Deer Valley home. It is out here at Oasis Homes in Augusta, Georgia. This is the three bedroom, two bath model. And the three bedroom, two bath is 2,640 square feet. But it's also available in a four bedroom, which is the Cairo 2. This is a three bedroom, two and a half bath, I'm sorry. But you can also get a four bedroom model called the Cairo 2. All right. Thanks so much for watching this beautiful home tour, you guys. Have a great day. <music>